Democratic state lawmakers here in North Carolina are filing a bill to discourage other lawmakers from switching parties. WREL's NC Capitol Bureau Chief Laura Leslie joins us live now to walk us through what is in this proposal. And Laura, this bill is a direct response to Representative Trisha Cotham's unexpected switch from Democrat to Republican, correct? <laughs> Yeah, absolutely. This is the sharpest rebuke yet that we've seen from her former fellow Democratic lawmakers to her party switch back in April. She ran as a pro-choice Democrat, but then changed parties in April and voted for new abortion restrictions. One Senate Democrat called that move the most offensive case of voter fraud in recent state history. Uh, the bill would require any legislator who changes parties after they're elected to undergo a special election to keep that seat. They would also be required to refund any campaign donations from members of their former party. It wouldn't affect Representative Trisha Cotham, but it would apply to any similar cases in the future. Senator Natasha Marcus represents Mecklenburg County, where Cotham's district is. She said Cotham's constituents are angry about her switch, especially since it gave Republicans the veto-proof majority they needed to push through laws on abortion and guns. Those voters and donors could not believe that such a blatant bait-and-switch was allowed. They asked, wait, is that legal? Can she do that? What about everything she said about being a Democrat, which I believed? Now, 19 other states have what are called recall elections to remove a sitting official from their post. North Carolina does not have the recall, and lawmakers here have been reluctant to change that. Uh, this bill is not likely to get a hearing, and neither Ms. Representative Cotham nor House and Senate Dem Republican leaders have yet responded to our request for comment on it. Michelle? All right, Laura Leslie, live for us this afternoon. Thanks, Laura.